ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the third episode of the O2ers. I am Tigress, joined by my good friend KRC Pinto. What's up, Pinto? How are you? Howdy there, Tigress. I'm good. Living the dream. Just been uh, doing what I think everyone in our corner of the FGC is doing, uh, being addicted to labbing Dragon Ball Fighters once again. True, true. Big patch ginormous patch probably the biggest patch the game is actually i would definitely say it's the biggest patch the game has ever gotten at this point uh so much it's just so much it's like it's so much to the point where it's just like i don't even know what half the characters got because i've all been playing like five or six characters right now and i just like have been trying to invest time in that but i know like e literally everyone in the game got touched even if it was something small so that's pretty cool um so uh what what do you what are you laughing right now what, what what characters you got on on your on your deck well you know for anyone that knows me follows my channel i'm an s broly guy and they said uh fuck s broly and then moved along in the patch which sucks but you know what they also looked at mr nappa the saiyan and said you know what you know how everyone says his neutral is terrible let's uh let's just give him cyber neutral yeah I, I saw that change and i was like you know what it might be time so i have been all in on napa for the past like three or four days all in. i'm having so much fun i can understand i feel like uh he now is just like cr i mean I, i've always thought highly of napa when he when he plants the cyberman like y you're, you're fucking done for it. that's that's what i thought but like now it's just like man you cannot run away from this character now he, he is just like always there the cybermen are always there you know you can't key blast them or anything now so that's like the huge buff like you have to physically hit the cybermen and like nappa is so good at like he has so many good buttons to like keep you in check when the cybermen are around long reaching and everything so it's just like just kind of scary now like he is super scary dude he's crazy good crazy good cyberman when you like get a plant and you can get away from it and block like that's a lot of pressure like they can't like do anything about that cyberman it's gonna come for them they have to like turn around and deal with it essentially like you have to like go out of your way to kill it it can't catch a stray key blast or a stray beam like that cyberman's gonna get you it's coming for yeah. you it's like a terminator it's yeah coming. it is it's like <laughs> it's like and alien it's like, actually <laughs> and like the thing about cyberman like this isn't a change or anything i don't think but they don't like just wake up and do their sequence they like seek you out and do their sequence so now like yeah. you have to go to them and hit them before it happens you can't just like shoot them from far away like you can't snipe them out as they're like coming towards you like yeah that's that's, that's, a, that's a huge lot. change that's a huge change honestly all, all that like he's definitely a big winner in my book but you know zamasu is crazy yo they took zamasu they said this character doesn't do anything and they were like let's make him the mobility character and, and boy howdy oh that guy's moving now yeah he's uh he's I, I don't know if you've played against the zamasu yet but like that shit is fucked up <laughs> that is it's like he he's full screen and then he's in your face instantly and then yeah, that, it's like that air dash is crazy even like the flight air dash thing is is like there's like almost no animation to it, so it's like as soon as they do it, they are literally in your face, and like that's it. I was so, messing with like him a little bit, and I was trying to do stuff with S Broly B because that's the one where Broly throws his orb like up diagonally. Up yeah, yeah. So I was thinking like, oh, I can get him in the air. I can do S Broly B to set something up with flight, and I was messing with like doing something like canceling into flight. Letting Broly catch them and then like dashing up to keep the combo going. And I was finding that like even when I missed the link, it almost basically like reset them with me in their face. So like it, you're getting like midair resets out of it. It was like really funky. Like it wasn't something I could do consistently, but like just the the opportunity for him, like with stuff he can do in the air, the mixes he can do now. Dude, the ground setups with mix are scary. <laughs> Yeah, he is, uh, wow, it's, it, it, I've played against Zenkos, who's playing, uh, Zamasu, and I'm like, man, you really just don't get to play anymore versus this character. Like, you didn't get to play when he got you in the corner, now it's just like, he, he's always in your face, so it's just like, 
impossible to get to get your turn away from him. And like all of his combos build so much meter too, especially with the new like uh special tag. I don't know what they they call that, like enhanced Z change or whatever. It is so much meter all the time. You're almost always getting a, a sliding knockdown in the corner now, and he is just like blades of judgment, and you're like, I only get one spark, so this is not that fun. Yeah, he, that's it's tough. It is. It really is. It it's uh, it, it is probably one of the most annoying characters right now to fight. Is probably Zamasu. Nappa's probably up there, but I don't really fight against a lot of Nappas. But uh. Man, those are probably the two big winners in my book in this patch. I think a, a hidden big winner also is Blue Koo. He he got like a lot, a lot, a lot of just like he wasn't even bad, but they were just like, let's just top him off. Like, let's just like put him somewhere and give him everything much easier to. I was actually going to say that because I know you play Blue Koo. And I was yeah. about to try and call you out for glossing over the fact that Blue no, Koo he, he was, but it's, I think that those two were like not good characters and now they're like really good. But Blue Koo was like high, t like bottom of high tier, decently high tier. And then they were like, let's make loops easier. Let's make shoulders faster and better. And like, let's make his assists better. And I was like, Phew. Yo, how the about how about the buffs like inherently from the super jump install off like specials canceling that makes air. that makes every everybody uh anyone with a dive kick it's yeah. just like way better automatically like yeah nutty i do love me a dive kick character i do play two dive kick characters so uh too bad it didn't help Esperly because he punches the ground and lands instead of stopping midair you know it happens like that i, I do feel like he got a, a bit shafted there but uh we buffed Z Broly and we left S Broly alone. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking with that, okay? I I got to tell you, the, I whoever thought... the dev is that said buff Z Broly, you're on like a hit list now, buddy. Like, I don't know what to tell you. It got to Gotenks first. And they're like, we nerfed Gotenks a good bit. Like, we made the the rejumps do less damage. Like, Ghost Oki's kind of inherently nerf slash buff depending on how good you are like there's a lot more ways to deal with it now like you can prep for them and do stuff but, like for the average player that's probably a nerf like there's some stuff that, like he's not like killed but he's not as good right and then the next one they got to is kid boo buff 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 buff, buff. it's like, you, like you, what <laughs> a21 buffed zebra buffed like why is my boy yeah. taking the hit i don't why? Really, i don't really know why because i feel like like, a good Gotenks player is, like, a good player. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like anybody I feel like anybody can pick up Z-Broly and be like, yo, unreactable command grab. But, like, you got to learn Ghost Oki and, like, the better routes on Gotenks to do, like, good damage. And, like, he doesn't even have, like, you know, a reversal. Uh, he doesn't have, like, you know, I mix, really. He's, like, mostly just, like, a set play character. But, like, man, they were just, like, Fuck him, I guess. Yep. Yep. That's what they did last time. He was good too. They just don't like him. I I don't know why. I, mean, I, I don't I really well, that is a weird thought process that's like go tanks, not we can't have him in, in the uh the limelight. They just keep saying, Hey, you can have him for one season and then we're taking him away. They just keep doing that. Like, hey, you can have him back. No. Yeah, too bad they put him in like the seasons when I feel like I don't, <laughs> don't like to play that much. Yeah, the good news is that he's not like bad. He's no, still he's got good stuff. They didn't nerf EX punches, I don't think. I think that's still plus on block, which was like a big cornerstone of what makes him good. So like, yeah. good. I think they make his B assist better too, which is good because his B assist is my favorite. But I don't know. They didn't need to take away the damage on the on the rejumps. Those are not like easy to do. Like for like extremely high level players, they might be. But like, I mean, the optimal version has like already has the key loop, like the flip in it which is not the easiest thing in the world to do. And then you have to do like all the cancels. Like my thumbs almost broke when those loops came out because you have to like quarter circle and quarter circle the other way, like back to back with inputs in between. And like, that's not that hard, but like doing it over and over again, it like wears on you. Like it's a lot. My thumbs hurt. Yeah. I mean, I saw those loops and I was like, I don't play this character, but thank God. Cause I'm not doing that shit. It's not I'll that bad. I'll learn all the other loops and stuff. Like, I swear, 
Blue Crew loops are definitely way easier now. I, I think it has to do a lot with the difference in the light shoulder change properties. Like, I was, like, playing, and I'm doing loops, and I'm like, yeah, I used to be good at these. And then I'm like, I can never do double jump loops, though, and I'm getting them all consistently. Or 2H loops, I'm getting them all consistently. And I'm like, huh, this is, like, did I just get miraculously better, or is it, like, way easier to do this? Um... Which is, like, scary because, like, Blue Crew Routes already do a lot of damage, build a good amount of meter. But, um... So good, dude. Character's good, but, uh... There's just so many characters you could talk about, right? Like, I feel like everybody got, uh, a lot. Or at least uh, enough in my book. Like, Goku Black, real character now, man. Took me three yeah, years, man. I, he took exists. Me, he took me. It took me three years to get a real character. That's a damn Sorry, shame. Dude. Who do you think are the losers? I think obviously for me, Asperoli is the big loser for the patch. But I've seen a lot of freezing mains complaining. I just feel like that character is like people want him to play a very specific way, and like every time they change him, they just take him further and further away from that, and like. He he is so weird now, right? Like they took away that like really cool like Frieza the Golden Frieza Spark combo where you like staircase them back down and re jump. Yeah, that's not a thing anymore. And I was like, damn, that's a cool combo. Like that's I, I really like that combo and they took that out of the game. And like even though Golden Frieza is like really good, like he can't do like any crossover mix up because of like how big his air dash and stuff like that is. And I wish they would have like touched on that because I really feel like, you know, again, we did this with a patch, but at least it happened quicker. But like, you know, season three started and everyone's like, Frieza SSS tier. So good. And then like people saw this patch and they're like, Frieza. SSS tier and then like all the Frieza players played him for about like 45 minutes and they're like this character is still dog shit don't let Dude, them confuse you it's crazy because even like like Zhao the combo guy yeah was like I'm so sad like what they do to, like it's just like so clear that they neutered the stuff that people liked about him they, it's not they, like they took a lot of his routes away like all, even like it, he has new routes but like they're not as cool they're not as technical they're not yeah. you know they're just like more generic the routes yeah they like they improve the wrong stuff which is interesting but then like you see like there's something similar with with the napa community where like the resets changed like the old resets don't work anymore but they just immediately found a bunch of new ones and like most of them are pretty optimistic like this one's even better than last time there's, yeah like, some cool stuff in there and like that's okay like if you're taking things away and replacing them with improved versions like and you know maybe the dev team doesn't look like isn't capable of looking that deep into some of this right. stuff because that stuff's really technical and specific, but also like the Napa community, like they all wear lab coats for fun. So yeah, it's true. Eh. But yeah, Frieza just, it's, it's disappointing that like they can't seem to get what they want, which I don't get why they don't just make him like a viable zoner. Like that's clearly what the character is built to be. And they just don't do that. It's just the game inherently is anti zoner, right? It's just like super, like all projectiles that are like non have non beam properties are all super dashable. Right. And then there's no chip damage in the game. So like he puts no pressure on you if he's not hitting you. So they had to m make audible, like they were like, he's a zoner. And then as the game's coming out, they're like, there is no zoning in this game fuck we gotta make him something else and then they were like uh uh uh, uh we'll give him these routes we'll try and give him more damage we'll pull we'll pull from other pot parts of his uh, kit and every time they just like they just miss the mark i guess you know it's, imagine, uh, imagine if they'd done this instead of doing everything they did we revert back to 3.5 freezer right then we take him and we change his 2h to be physical so that it works mm -hmm. and then instead of doing all these like changes to like his 5M going full screen and things like that. Sorry, my dog's scratching out a door. <laughs> Instead of doing all that stuff, what we do is we add a new special move to Frieza. That's a death beam that goes through projectile and vol stuff. So like if you have something that's projectile and vol, cough, cough, Broly's shield, it just stabs through it and knocks him down immediately. How yeah. sick would that be? I mean, I think that's a really good thing. Like he had like some kind of like almost like 
even not even projectile bolt. Even if he had some kind of like guard break, something like that. Some kind of like spend one bar, like guard break, kind of similar to Guilty Gear kind of thing. Um, yeah. I think it would be would be cool. You know, I I, I don't know. I, I just feel like every every time I'm like, yo, I hope these Frieza players get what they want, and they just like they're like, nope. He, they just they missed it again. They missed again. It's just frustrating, you know. I mean, at least they're not like Goku Black players where we sat every you know DBFZ show for three years and we're like, can we get a buff? And they're like, did you say nerf or nothing? Like I feel like you know <laughs> I literally nerf for nothing. Uh, it was uh, it was rough for a while, and I was like, there's no way this patch doesn't come out and they don't buff him. Like he's clearly not good, and he clearly needs stuff. But I, I think he's pretty decent right now, actually. I don't think he's like crazy better, but you know, automatic float mix is really good. You know, I learned the, the old float mix, and like it breaks your hands. It's literally like a one frame startup, so it's 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 hard to do. So I'm glad they made that easier. And, uh, you know, better scaling on Slicer, which is cool. 2S is cool. Better, his mid is 5H, not as wonky. And I, I genuinely think the, um, the, like, tag in combo thing with the special moves is really good on him. Really good to get him in or out. Because sometimes you want to super with him first and get him back out. Or sometimes you want him to, you know... And, like, you don't want him to end the route, and you want someone else to go first. Like, maybe you'll want the level three with him. That is just a... That, that's, like, Z-Change thing is just so interesting to me now. Like, they've added so much that possible now. Like, everybody can get, like, a DR anywhere. Yeah, that's uh, that's one of the first things I started messing with when the patch first dropped. Was, uh, I went and found a way to get, like, 16 in and have him do, like, aerial... JM and then just land into like 5M 2M and then uh 236L grab for the knockdown. Just like okay, you can bring 16 and put them in his optimal position without having to do anything. Like this is great. Yeah, I, I feel like at some point it will get like someone will figure out something. I mean, other than the glitch, like that's super like super fucked up. Cause like I've already been seeing like Fenrich post like combos where you take people like really really high up in the air with like go tanks and then he'll tag into cell and cell will rolling crush all the way to the bottom and if you're the higher you go the more meter you build because the move has to hit the ground to end and like you're gaining like he's i've seen him like post combos where you build like three and a half bars like that is a lot like for pro play that is a lot yo sell another big winner sell sj float install stuff like yeah really good on huge him. huge for sell oh my god this patch is crazy the only problem with this patch is that i don't know who to play yeah me neither like i really wanted to play adult gohan and then i've been playing him and playing him and i'm like man level zero is still s and then like level one doesn't have enough like if he literally like he doesn't get to be a character unless you really really work for it right like he wants to be like your your mid like powerhouse character that you come in and you do all your mix ups with, but like if you want a character with like big buttons that has a double air dash, you could just play Super Saiyan Four Gogeta, which I think still might be better. And like it's frustrating to be level zero with Gohan because you have you're missing like your best button which is, like, your 3L, like, it is, like, so, so important, and I don't know, maybe it's, it's, it's most likely me, I'm, I never claimed, claimed to be a Greek Dragon Ball player, Gohan's my favorite character in the series, and I'm, like, I always want to play him, but, like, I just feel like they, what they gave him is really cool, but just not, like, good enough, like, there's not many games that you get higher than level 3 ever with Gohan. Yeah. It does seem that way. I did see someone. What did they do? I fought someone the other day who was just building meter. Like they saved it. They weren't spending on anything. And they built for a while and they ended up at seven bars. And they called a beam C and then did all seven level ups inside of the beam C. Yeah, I mean, I, I think C assists are really bad right now, too. They like complain. I think they're really, really good at C assists. Like, you can call an A assist or a B assist three times before your C assist comes back. 
good. <laughs> I mean, it was a long time coming, right? Hate CSIS. Dude, there's nothing worse than the net pain of seven frame delay against triple C assist. UI Gogeta, Gogeta. People just it doesn't get worse. The, people just jumping around the air, flipping and super dashing and stuff, and you're like the yeah. round start double C assist. Nothing makes me more. It's irate always, it always happens. Round you... starts and calls them both. Yeah, calls them both. It's Why? it's it's literally you super jump back, they super dash at you, and double call C assist, and you're like, what is going on? I'm already not liking this person. And I just I misjudge my fall time and dip my big toe in the C beam and get obliterated now I'm yeah and you're like that. and then you're like how does he have eight bars already what what is going <laughs> on six dragon ball like wait what like, they're getting just started huh i'm just sweating just sitting in my chair i uh i have been playing online a little bit um i will say that it is a is a bit of a chore to play online i won't lie uh i like Play in the lab, and I like figure something out. I'm like, cool. I want to do this against a person. I jump online, and I'm like, why the fuck did I do this? Why did I do this to myself? I do um, the exact same thing. Yeah, I'm like, uh, hey, I practice this Nappa thing. I wonder if I can do it. And then the answer is no, because I'm playing in ten frames of delay against triple UI. Like, no, I can't do it. Yeah, it's 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 just like so stupid. Like, I played a kid yesterday who was triple C assist and, like, only did, like, DP'd or mashed on wake up, and I was just like, this is just not fun. No. This is just not fun. Like, I I, I get that you haven't stopped playing this game since, you know, everyone stopped playing a little bit ago, but, like, this is just really not fun, and I want this person to realize that I'm not having a good time in a very serious way. Yeah. I feel the same way, dude. I play like five matches and then I'm livid and then I put the game away and then I go lab Napa and try and go, well, I'll try again because I'm having fun labbing. And yeah. Then and then the cycle repeats over and over. Yeah. That is just like, it's such an annoying thing. Like I'll, I'll be like, I'm gonna play Dragon Ball for a little bit. And I'm like lab and I'm like, All right, I'll, I'll, I'll accept one of these matches. I accept it. And then I'm like this motherfucker. I'm like, I'm so angry in my chair and I win the game and I'm like, yeah, fuck you bitch. And then I'm like, I gotta get off this game. I gotta get off this game. I feel like this is the closest I'll get to ever understanding, like, hard drug addictions. Like, euphoria and then consequence. Just over and over. And I just can't stop. I wish the euphoria could reach the other point, though, or you just go online. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. That would be more like Strive, then. Yeah. Yep. And, you know... Okay, speaking of Strive, so... We're blessed with this giant Dragon Ball patch. Right. right. We know just around the corner there's yeah. a Strive patch coming. Two of Two them. Strive patches. Two of them. Do you think that this Dragon Ball patch impacts the expectations of the Strive patch at all? Like, do you think people are going to feel kind of, like, because they're so close together, do you think people are going to be like, eh, kind of bummed when, like, not much happens in that Strive patch? All right. So here's my thought process. Like, one, patch one, I don't think there's going to be a lot of talk about. Um, cause patch one, for those who don't know, is the buff patch where it's like, we want to bring the low tiers up and, you know, put everyone on like above a certain bar. Right. So like characters that come to mind, you know, Faust, Anji, maybe Melia, um, you know, those characters need, and plus probably one or two more that I'm missing. Those characters need like, a, like a little something, like some more than others, but like they need something to play the game. Cause like Anji and Faust for sure or like a tier above below everyone else. So I think the first patch is going to really, really, really nice, going to set a little balance, like, tone. And then the big patch in October, where they already have said that they want to add new mechanics to the game, I think that is going to be really interesting. Like, that is going to be... It's going to be... I don't know. I, don't, I mean, I would like them to add IKs eventually, but, like, I just want them to, like, make the Gatlings like more unique per character uh because like i play leo my character has reverse speed and i honestly until like right before the game came out i thought that everyone could do that and then uh you know people were like no you're an idiot that's that's not true and then i was like wow that's like really really strong that i have a way more unique gatlings than everyone else so I really want them to get to make the characters at least feel when you're like hitting buttons, you're feeling you're hitting 
a little bit different buttons when people are blocking, you know? Instead of being like, you know, jab, jab, wait for pressure, and then like, far slash, like, close slash, far slash, heavy slash, and then like, special move, RC, and try and mix. Yep, that's pretty much it. It's It's tough, dude, like... That's something that I found really unintuitive at first, especially coming from plus R was like I grabbed Zotto and like I did like 5P, 5P and then hit another button and nothing happened. And I was like, what? Yeah, that was definitely different from coming from plus R because it's like I play Order Soul and I like run up to people and like 5P, 2K, 2D them into like a special, like just to like get my levels up. And, uh, you know, I'm like, wow, you, you really, you can't even... You can't two K two D P or you can't two K two D, but uh That's, that's all you can chain. do. That's yeah. that's it. That's the whole chain. I don't know. I also yeah. really miss from plus R for some reason when you would R C and it goes romantic. I, I don't know why I love that. Like I would I would just want something like that back. Yeah. That'd be fun. Just that, yell. That that first patch, like I said, all buffs, you know, exciting for those who play those characters, but the second patch I'm getting ready for the Leo nerfs. They're gonna nerf him into the ground. I know it. I know he's gonna get nerfed worse than Soul. It's just it's just my luck with characters. I just I know for a fact. That's probably true. They hate people with long golden hair, that's why Go Tanks keeps getting shafted. Although yeah. that is half the cast of Strive, so There is a lot of long golden hair, that's true. Yeah. Milia, Zato, Leo, uh, Kai. Ram, Kai. <laughs> a lot of blondes. A lot of blondes. I mean, they're only blondes, they're only blondes on color one. They have different hair on other ones. The cosplay opportunities for me are just out the wazoo, you know? Yeah, I, I, clearly. If I, yeah. Dude, I might just get some hair gel, do like a gender swap milia. Get That's like what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, I think you could. I could. You know? I, still, I still owe the Zotto one first, though. I got to do the Zotto. I just have to figure out how to get a Gucci belt to put over my eyes. and then Put like a big back. piece of leather over your face and tie the Gucci belt around it. Yeah, I joked that I'm gonna put my stepson in a black morph suit and make him stand next to me. <laughs> That's so fun. You just hold like a power drill. <laughs> but tell them to be like take a video and be like, tell them to just go like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That is Do it that for is the TikTok, fun. Carson. Dude, come on. Come on, man. I swear I will take you for ice cream if you do this, please. Alright, so in patch one. The buff patch. What's like the number one thing you're hoping to see? Um, probably just. I mean, I mean, I, I don't even know what to give to Faust because I just don't even see him enough. But I, I, I definitely think just making Anji have more real like options. Like, uh, it just seems stupid to me that everything in food, like in the Fujin and everything like that, can just be jumped. Like everything, all of it can be jumped. Like minus like one option, which is the overhead. So I I want them to make Anji like a real character because I actually really enjoy watching Anji, not playing against Anji. I think he just uh, I still I I don't like play against him because my character also has to go in, and then Anji will just you know a guard point me while I run through, and then I'm like I am getting punished for this. This is pain. Every time I punch the dance, I scream obscenities. Yeah. And instead of dealing with it, I continue to try to punch the dance and just nothing happens. Yeah. Or are you trying to get smart and like run up and throw them like when they're in in the in the spin and then they're just like, I knew this was coming. And then they do like the anti-air jump one and you're like, oh, cool. I'm going for a ride. That's awesome. I want them. I want them to make Anji better, although I'm going to regret this. I'm sure I will. When he's I, like pretty good, I'm so glad he sucks. He's such a pain in plus R. He's that, but he's a very different character. But that character is like God sent something fucked up to the earth. That's what how I feel about him. The only reason I want them to buff Anji is so that Floki will stop playing Axel. <laughs> That's what I, I, I like Axel. Oh. Ax, Axel's like my secondary. Nerf him into the ground. I hate that character. I hate him. Yeah, I mean, you definitely get your your characters uh, struggle I picked against. Up Milia Axel. just to fight him, and I it's know. better. But I like Axel. I think Axel's cool. He's like the coolest zoner. The like only zoner. Oh, ever? Yeah, he's like uh, compared to like 
any other zoner in another game. I think he's just cool. Maybe because he's very punk and like he's got the he's got the do rag on, you know. Like what about like Scarlet? Scarlet's cool. She's a blood mage. Eh, is she really a zoner though? Like a is there really is there is there really zoners in MK games? MK11 is all zoners. That's like the dominant archetype of the game. Yeah, Cetrion. I just, yeah, I just oh yeah, I forgot Cetrion exists. Well, yeah, I mean, it's brutal in MK11. Well, Awful. when my brain thinks of Mortal Kombat, I try and get happy instead of sad, so I think of MKX. That's, that's fair. Okay. So let's see. I, I know I can come up with a better one than Axel. I mean, Axel's cool in design, but like also, I want him to die a pain. He's got death. sickles and chains, and he's like, I'm British, and I, I look like I, I listen to punk, and you, I look like I'm at your local punk concert, and I'm giving away free beer. That's what he looks like. But also, I hope you didn't come here to play this game. Yeah. I'm not going to let you. I, don't know. I can't think of a cooler zoner. I think Venom is cooler in, like, character design, like not, um, by, like, gameplay design, but Axel's got, like, he's dripping and, like, you know, the chains and everything, the sound effects and all his moves are cool. We're like, yeah. Venom's okay. I'll have to think on this. I don't think of Venom so much as a zoner either. I feel like a lot of what he does is pressure. Yeah, but it's like long range pressure, no? From like you set like you set up from full screen and then you knock your balls and then you go for pressure. So most of the ball setup comes from a knockdown because t- setting them up takes so long. So a lot of what he'll do, at least in plus R, like good venoms will get in your face, like swing it around for a while, use the charge moves to catch you off balance. And then when they get you knocked down, they set up the K ball for Oki and then like kind of go in and go from there. So like they're set up from far away. If like you get forced to a full green screen position, like he has something to do, but I wouldn't say he excels from that. Cause there's not a whole lot he can do from there besides hit you with balls. So. Yeah. I don't know. He can be played zoner, but like That's if fair. you go watch like black snake, like he's in your face making you like cry. It's, yeah, it's I mean, there's a lot of characters in that game that make you cry, but yeah, he's got like a TK instant overhead and like his his sweep, like you're just eating pain. Like he can convert like for knockdown, you can like do the DP motion to set up the electric ball and like then just make them hold that and you get like all these plus frames to work with. It's pretty solid. So yeah, I um oh, man, there's just like there's just so so much going on with fighting games right now that like. My my brain really can't handle it. Like, there's so much, to, like, we have this Dragon Ball patch, which I feel like will last a little bit. There's still so much to be discovered. We have a Strive patch coming this month, and then next month is Melty Blood. Yep. Like, what? Dude, all the homies keep trying to get me to play Actress again to, like, prep for Type Lumina, and I just keep saying, I literally can't do it. There are too many. Like, I can't learn another one right now. I yeah, cannot I mean, do it. I'm going to wait for Type Lumina. I'm going to play it. But, like, I cannot add another one to my brain at the moment. Like, I need, like, a video explaining how, like, the different, like, you know, C type, A type, whatever, it, how any of that works. Because, like, that is super confusing to me. Because it's like, you know, you can pick whatever character. And then, like, depending on what type you pl- pick, they play completely different like variations in mortal Kombat, pretty kinda. much yeah, yeah like that um and like i don't understand it at all and i don't know there's something about like i'm I'm so weird when it comes to fighting games and like i'm like i don't really like playing like overly uh like overly super anime women in, in fighting games i just can't do it for some reason i can play like you know big buff muscly man with the sword or something like that like i'll play that but like i'm so weird i get like so weirdly uncomfortable with stuff like that i don't know what it is even like when it comes to like watching anime if there's like someone like overly suggestive i'm like uh, i'm like ah i no thank you sometimes it's weird i fully agree i don't okay. i don't know as an play, adult like, the, i think it's weird right i don't play like the kof my like that kind of character like biken mains yeah. yeah i don't do the bike well bike it's like badass too biken like, is like... cool right that's the problem with biking though biking is cool but at the same time everyone's like it's like offset big by mommy. like the eye patch and the robo arm a little bit but it's... but i get what you're saying yeah i don't i don't go that route like i'm never gonna play like um 
I don't know. I'm not gonna play Dizzy. Like things like that. Like I'm good. Like I, that's not for me. But like, I will play like, mm, like Videl. Like it's completely like. Yeah. Not even that even I think even I think like Milia. Fine to yeah. me. She's wearing a, a trench coat or whatever. Like yeah, a Russian. Yeah. She got an overcoat. Burka. Like you're, you're, we're 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 fine there. Even like, you know, May I think it's fine. But like overly like suggestive characters. I'm just like no. I, I don't can't. even feel too off put about Ram either. Even though, like, it's a little I, more class. The only one that, and I hate this, I played her in the beta, and then someone posted that 6H clip of the physics, and I was like, mm, why'd you do that? Because now I'm, like, now I feel weird. Like, now everyone's going to think that I'm playing Ram for that, and I'm not, and guess who doesn't play Ram anymore? Not I saying there's a correlation. But. I just think it's so weird that everyone's just, like, you'll, like, go on the game, and people's names will be, like, Ram's feet, and I'm like, oh, yeah. She has like sandals on. Thank you for making me think about that for like twenty minutes. You guys yep. are p- p- yep. people have some of the the best. Dude, how about the the craziest one this year? Easily has been the Shermie hype. That's been the most like degenerate moment. Is when the Shermie trailer dropped. Shermie trailer, like, yeah. Broke a million views in like a day or something like that. I'm just like, you guys are clowns. <laughs> I I, got I don't it. get it. There there are people so open about it too that that they're just like. Yeah, I love my big mommy milker character, and I'm like, please stop, someone... please get away from me. I did five beginner tips for playing Ram, and I got a comment on it like three weeks later, and it was someone was like, "The police are on the way to your house for keeping all this private footage of my waifu." And I was like, "I don't know how to respond to this." Like the algorithm likes it when you respond to comments, and I was like, "What do uh, I say?" Now? Uh, <laughs> uh... <laughs> I don't want to engage this person. Like, all right. I don't want to have this conversation at all. Like, wh- you what happens to, that, You dude? want to talk about a suggestive game? Have you ever played fucking Soul Calibur? Yeah. How about, dude? It's no you got, like alive, You got, like, Sophia and Ivy and, like, any of those characters. Uh, or, like, That's why I just play Nightmare. Big, giant armor with an eyeball sword. I, I've go. always played Siegfried, Nightmare, like, Mitsurugi, those kinds of characters. Sometimes Raphael, but, like... You're like playing against like Sophia, and she's like in her warm up, and she's like like her little intro, and she's like, "Okay, I'm ready to fight," and I'm like, "Ah, get away from me!" Yep, I can't, do- I can't deal with this. It be like that. <sighs> just, dude, I don't know what it is. I feel like I mean, it's not even just this genre, but like anything like it's <laughs> all the Japanese games. Really, I feel like. Oh, all the way over there, they're just like, they're like, okay, we have this really cool female warrior, you know, she fights with a, you know, like a spear and a sword, like, okay, that's cool, and then, like, the board director's like, can we put tits on it? And they're like, yeah, we can. They're like, alright, let's let's do that. It's just, it's just a weird thing that they do, man. And it just, it makes me uncomfortable and weird, but, like, people, especially on, like, Twitter, or, like, when you can have, like, custom in-game names, they just, like, they may, they they can make you not forget about things. Like you you just forget about them after a while. Then you know you've run across the Ramlethal's feet or like the Milia bathwater, and you're like, dude, how did we get to this point? Who are you? Play King of dinosaurs. King of dinosaurs. Yeah, we gotta play. Nothing there. We gotta we just gotta play big muscly characters, you know, to counteract all the coomers. Yep. Yep. Oh man. But there's just, like I said, there's just so much going on in, in in the space, right? Like we have even like KOF has a lot of stuff coming out, right? Do they have a release date for KOF? Do you know? January, February, something like that. Okay, so Projected early one. early next year, right? Yeah, <clears throat> I think it's Q1 2022. But like strive patches, two strive patches, big DVFZ patch. Uh, and Melty Blood coming out, and like I hope, I hope DLC two is Jacko. I want to see Jacko. I think we need a really really hype character. I know I know who all the characters are because now they're leaked from the data mining, and um, you know there's there's a character that's not in season one that I'm very upset, and I feel like would have been very hype, but I think they're gonna save it for season two because they need extra hype. 
I'm also sad that Venom's not in season one. Yeah, that's what it was, of course. Uh, you it's know, a travesty. I, uh, I mean, I, I'm just gonna be open and say it, but you know, uh, for those who don't know, you know, Johnny's Johnny's not coming for season one. You can't, you can't, you can't just, you can't just, you no. Know, Johnny is cool as, have you ever seen Omido play that character? Look, Johnny's cool. I don't care. Put Robokai in. Put Bridget in. You're, put Zappa what are you, in. You're just, you're asking put for all these weird, you're asking uh, for all these, uh, yeah, all these weirdo characters. The last thing I need in the context of Guilty Gear Strive is another character with a big ass sword whacking at me from full screen. I don't need it. I don't want it. And I Listen. don't need May's accomplice because I've had enough of her. No more jellyfish pirates. No more stupid swords. I'm over it. Give me weird stuff. Put Bridget putting yo-yo traps on the screen so when the Nagori Yuki swings that big dumb sword, a teddy bear comes and clobbers him. That's what I want to see. <laughs> Give me that. Give me Zappa. I want ghosts. I'm tired of swords. Give me ghosts, yo-yos, pool balls, all of it. No more no more swords. No more jellyfish pirates. Don't make this Smash Ultimate. I'm tired of Fire Emblem <laughs> characters. Give me a Guilty Gear weirdo. A weirdo. That's what I want. <laughs> That's what you want. You want the weirdo That's characters. Want. Yep. I now want to... Next you're going to say you want Heyhoon back. And then, then, then I'm really going to have to question Do you. Do it. Do it. <laughs> No thanks. That character, especially in this game, uh, no thank you. Give me someone who has a way to control the screen that isn't a giant weapon. I'm tired of dealing with giant weapons. I want to punish giant weapons. They gave all these swords hitboxes for a reason, and it's not so I can 6P them. It's so that I can put a trap on the screen, they swing it, I trigger the trap, and we go from there. That's what I want for Strive. There needs to be some character that counters this meta of just Big disjointed garbage. I'm tired of big disjointed garbage. Give me small disjointed garbage in strategic locations. That's, That's fair. The move. That's the move. That's fair. I honestly, I mean, I'm, I know Jacko is coming, but like, I don't know how different she will be comparatively to like her Xrd version because you know everybody is pretty different from their extra version i would say you know they definitely have like a, a different identity for sure i could see jacko being really strong but i also could see jacko coming out really weak you know i don't even care if she's strong i just want her to be different that's all that's one of the things i did like about gold lewis i find him to be a pain to fight but he's different like i still i still haven't fought one to be honest stuff. really i yeah. fought a few but it's I'm, I don't like the Millia matchup because he like just Behemoth Typhoon catches you at weird angles and like explodes her. So like it's not super fun. I don't mind the Zato matchup, although fully charged Skyfish is a pain. But you know, yeah, he's cool. He, he's cool, but like, was he a bit more underwhelming as a first DLC? You know, it's been a few weeks. I think as a design and, like, a character, I'm super hyped. I really wanted him to come to the game. But then, like, you know, he's not really a very commonly played archetype of character. He's a slow, big-button, full-screen guy who either gets bullied the whole game and doesn't get to play, or he, he bullies, pushes you to the corner and gets to, you know, really put the pressure on. I think he needed one more move. And I don't know what that move is, but I think his, his kit to be, like, as interesting as possible needed one more thing. And yeah. I, I think that thing might be something with, like, almost, I think, I don't want to just, like, because I feel like I'm lumping him in with what big characters tend to be. But, like, I feel like almost a command grab where the alien hand grabs you. Maybe an anti-air grab. That would have been a cool thing to do. Like, if someone jumps at you and you anti-air grab them with the alien. Like, that would have been sick. Like pull them into the coffin and spit them back out. Like yeah, I think be... I think anti air grab wasn't bad. I just like don't like when games are just like we don't know what to do with this character. Give it a DP. Yeah. See, like I feel like DP command grab is at least a, I feel like a command grab is at least a little bit un more unique because it has more like you need more situational awareness for it. Where yeah. like a DP, you're just like fucking Beyblade, let it rip on that everything. We only have what like I guess a few characters I've. Command grabs, chip, soul, pot, obviously. Chip, Zotto. soul, Leo, pot, Zotto. Oh, it is the dunk one. Does May have a command grab? Yes. Never mind. Everybody has command grab. Okay. Besides, uh, like Ram. Like, 
like uh, Ram, Anji, Kai. Uh, no, Kaos has the Afro, and uh, Milia doesn't have one. Yeah, there's a lot of command there's a lot, grabs. Okay. a lot of command grabs. A lot of command grabs, actually. But, but an know. anti-air command grab that would be unique. Yeah. And you it know, would I, like if I they thought... try to jump over the over the little bomb guy, you anti-air command grab him. Like it just like plays with his kit nicely a little bit. Yeah, I thought uh I thought Heat Knuckle was a anti-air command grab. It is a hit grab, which I think is Yeah, it has to connect. Yeah, and like it also even on block guard breaks in the air, which is really scary. Like it's not plus a lot, but like if you have meter, uh, I'm pretty sure you can get a high low off of it. Yeah, the only anti-air command grab is Celestial Pop Buster. So. Yeah, that's a true anti-air command grab. But also, like, doesn't hit, like, a lot of angles. It's like, a very specific angle, but it does. <sighs> Excuse me. It does a lot of damage. It does a lot of damage. I don't even want to talk like, about it. Uh, all right. Hot's my demon right now. So, going back to uh, Dragon Ball. So like, what are your what what's your what's your team looking like? Slash, what do you got in rotation? Because I I have a good idea in my head. I haven't labbed it out, but I think it's a good idea what I got so far. I'm bouncing a lot. I'm trying really really hard to stay loyal to As Broly right now, just because I put so much time into the character and like maybe things will shake out. It'll be okay. But right now, what I'm doing is Nappa Super Broly Base Coup. Normally, I wouldn't play Base Coup. Because I hate playing protagonists. But <laughs> base coup is just so damn good with Nappa, dude. Like every hit is a free plant in combo. Like, yeah, because so A clutch. assist. Yeah. And then I want to mess with the Zamasu and Baby Shell. Although I'm not sure who I would anchor there. I might just keep base coup because Zamasu likes base coup for mix ups. Yeah. But. but those are the things I mean. I think Zamasu and Nap are the most interesting characters to come out of this patch, and I want to do something around them. And it actually has thrown me off a good bit because those two, I don't necessarily want to play them together because I can't play Esperly with them together. You, can't, you like, kind I of have... can't play them together, can you? Like, not really. I mean, like, like whatever your third they... is has to be like super high blocks on assist and like has to like sandwich them together. Like, what do you play Nappa point and Zamasu? Mid that character anchor. Take the other way around. I think Zamasu point and Nappa mid, and what you would maybe want to do is build meter and then special tag into Nappa to set up corner Cybermen. And you can do that with base coup anchor, but like, like that works. But that's synergy between base coup and Zamasu and Nappa and base coup, and there's not anything between Nappa and Zamasu. You know, like they don't have any fire. Yeah, like, I'm, they. Base coup is always a character I wanted to touch, but just like. I never had a team that could ever go into Spirit Bomb. Like, uh, Goku Black inherently only has a post vanish to, into Spirit Bomb, and it just, like, never seemed worth it. So I was just like, you know what? This, you know, I, I want to play this shitty low tier for three years, so I, I'm going to ditch this pretty good character for it, you know? Yeah, it's like, with Nappa Esperly base coup, like, Nappa gets plants off base coup, which is great. Everyone gets myths off base coup. Super Broly gets like just some space with base coup if like your stuff doesn't work out it kind of covers the gaps since his frame data sucks and he gets the thing he needs the most which is extension off of his dunk which is the most important thing for pairing with super broly then nappa and super broly like super broly's assist is just good it covers airspace which nappa doesn't really do and it like gives extensions easily so like that's good and then blazing storm assist gives extension on uh on dunk so like and it covers like the ground a little bit like gives some ranged options they sped yeah. up the game but like it's still not good so. you're gonna use a assist for napa instead of b yeah i think so uh, b, At least seems, now. b seems pretty tough i'm not gonna lie b seems pretty good it does it's like it's but you just want something that covers more range yeah i haven't really found a lot of use for b for super bully but honestly i haven't been messing with Broly as much as I've been messing with Nappa. So I haven't really worked on like what the best option for Broly is yet. But basically, like my ideal game plan here is Nappa gets a lot done meterless now, which is nice. So like he can kind of just like trap him in the corner, build a little meter, and then I'll be able to tag into level three Broly, which is always what I like to do, even though it's pointless. It's just fun. And then go from there and then just have Nappa base coup in the back with my unleashed Broly just 
blowing people up in the front. So man, we'll see how it goes. Napa is like so fucking good, man. It's just so like he's he's pretty cool. I won't lie, he's pretty cool, but like he's just so good now. It's like you can't deny it anymore. Yep. I just I like that he I liked this about him before, but I wasn't confident enough in him to put the work in. But he's he's one of the only characters in the game that has a unique game plan. Like, not yeah. a lot of characters do like a specific thing. Like, I, like, like, let's say Beerus. I always want Beerus to do what Venom does, and he doesn't because you can just super dash straight through orbs, right? Right. Like, you can't do like the orb setups are cool and useful, but like they're not useful in the way I want them to be. Like, Cybermen are exactly what I want them to do. I'm planning yeah. a little robot. It's gonna come mess with you. And like I get to do stuff off of that, like that's yeah, sick. You, you plant your easier. mini, you plant your mini fest. Mm -hmm, exactly, and now it's easier, and I don't have to think about it as much. Like I don't have to like I can play Napa in a way where like I'm not entirely relying on resets because I'm not technically proficient enough to like do that consistently yet. So like I have like my baseline Napa, and it feels a lot better than what baseline Napa used to feel like. His two touch is so fucking easy too. You can two touch off with nothing. It's crazy. Yeah, I have to lab all that stuff. Right now, I think I want to play Vegito, Blue Ku, and Goku Black. I, it's a cause game. I was playing Blue Ku, Adult Gohan, Goku Black, and I just, like, like I said, I don't, I don't know. I just can't do it. Like, he's just, like, it's, it's, it's frustrating enough to have a character that, like, when you raw tag him in base, like, he doesn't have all of his moves, and he doesn't hike he, he can't like get like sliding knockdowns you know off a super dash without meter and stuff like that like that's just like frustrating at this point in the game where like it, it seems like everyone can can do that and gohan just has to have these like weird stipulations around his that are you know like a bit frustrating but uh i liked vegeta i used to play vegeta a little bit in the last season i like him a lot his fucking 5m is huge and he's like such a pest. That character to me is just a pest. Like I think, he doesn't I, I let think me do what I want. Yeah, he's just like a like I don't know. He doesn't do like a lot of like a lot of crazy stuff, but like the few things he does, he just like really hones in on them. Like, you know, he has that like really good stagger pressure and like that like constantly like gap close in your face button to be like, you know, like if you think I'm getting away, like I'm right here. Like I'm right here. Like, oh you can jump, I'm right here. Like, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, I have a lot of trouble with him. Yeah, I think he's, uh, I think he's really good, and I think I, I, I was already thought he was pretty good, but I think he's like a little, you know, a little bit better now. I don't think he's like got like any of the crazy stuff everybody else got, but like you know, you know, I was actually saying, um, I was gonna, gonna bring this up, but I, uh, I said this with some other friends, like, you know, a lot of people have like longer and faster buttons now, and like, the animations are so fucked now. Like, they are so fucked. Like, have you seen, like, you know, like, like, Vegito 5M. Have you seen Vegito's 5M? He's just, like, like, right in your face, like, instantly. Or, like... Broly 5L is, like, now. That's one of the ni only nice things they did for Broly is 5L. Maybe a bigger 5L. Launches him. Oh, my God. You shoot forward. It's crazy. Yeah, or, like, any of the Goku's 2M now. They're, like, 2M'ing you from, like, three-quarter screen. And it's just, like, yeah. And, like, they're right in your face. Like, it doesn't... Literally full screen. Yeah, it's just like I don't think that one looks that bad though, because it like it looks like he's yeah. running forward and then throws you the elbow. But like the ones where they go into like certain animations, like even Goku Black when he like five M's, he's like jumps forward now and like punches. Like a lot of the normals just like look weird now. Yeah. Like they were, they were like I was saying this before on the stream when we were watching the announcements. Uh, everyone was like, "Yeah, that does look weird." It was like the, they went into the boardroom. They were like, "Oh fuck, we ran out of money. We ran out of money. We need to change these characters. Uh, 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 uh. Just make everything faster and better. Make it faster and better. They'll they'll, they'll take it. They'll take it. Oh, we need, we need new supers. Uh, uh, uh. Just reuse all the assets from their special moves. We 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 got this. We got this. Don't worry about it." Hey, I am happy about the Trunks level too, though, because it's the "Hey Frieza!" Like yeah. that's just best to me. That needed to be there. It's like I I can't believe it took this long to get that. Yeah, it kind of like now that I've seen it, I was like, why didn't he have that already? Yeah, it like makes sense. That's literally what he's like his most famous scene in the whole show is that. Not like, not even that. Like he just like needed to 
be able to like gap close on super for like other characters like <sighs> it brings his synergy up a lot like a, like a lot a lot that's a good point i didn't which, consider that which like he already has apparently he's got some like really like wild new uh rejumps in the corner with his, his new js that, yeah it's I like saw off flip, it's only that. off the flip js i think which is interesting like his standard js isn't better i don't think i might be wrong on this but it's flip like out of flip js is way better yeah it like has i don't know if it has another hit or it has like more hit stun but like he's more stun it is like way better you now like i've seen people do like cool rejumps in the corner cooler than we were doing before and he was and already like, pretty stylish so yeah i just wish he was just like more like useful you know what i mean yeah He's another yeah. one of those characters where he's like, I do this one thing and I do it really well, but you have to do it for me. Um, but like, he just, I think one of his main issues has always been that like, there's no answer, like no good answer for someone super dashes you while you're flipping. Like there's just not like, yeah. a lot. So you have to like take advantage of knockdowns to do it. Right. But like, there's only yeah. one move that gives you a hard knockdown in the game. Yeah. So it just seems like, that's what I've always been like, man, I, I was playing, I was like literally like the first day of labbing, I'm like playing, I'm having a good time. And then I'm like, I go online and somebody sits for 30 frames on the ground. And I'm like, I remember why I hated that. I do not like variable wake up timing. Like if it was maybe like one, two or three options, then it'd be, you know, fine. But it's, you know, roll a 30 sided dice and figure it out. Yeah. That's a good point. It's it's so frustrating. It's one of the more frustrating things. It's just like you feel like you get nothing of Hiroki in this game. Yeah. I just... Ugh. I like that. They, want, they don't want those like set setups. Otherwise, we'd still have Snap. I miss that too, though. Yeah. Uh, I don't miss Fuzzy too much, except Broly. Broly deserves to get fuzzied into the floor. Um, we didn't know what we unleashed. I kind of knew. I, I I was like, this character is a problem. But, like, good thing he's, like, so tall so nobody plays him and you can fuzzy him super easy. Like, you could mess the fuzzy up and still get him a lot of the time. But, um... I hate that character so much, man. I hate that I character. Really, I've never hated a character more than that. I really miss when Dekill Sage was a Zebroly specialist. And I was like, that man's a low-tier hero. He's, like, carrying Broly lovers everywhere. Like, look at him go in the Season 2 finals, and now everybody plays Zebroly. And it's like, I still love to kill Sage, but I'm bummed that he's not, like, the one. I like yeah, him. He was I've, the one. I, I do love to kill Sage, but I think it's so funny that he, he tweeted, like, he's already announced for, like, the France versus USA 5v5 at the end of the month. And then, uh, <laughs> um, he was like, yeah, so I played the patch, um, don't think it's enough to keep me playing the game, but we'll find out, I guess. It's yep. so it's so funny because people love watching Sage play this game, and like every time Sage would stream the game or anything, he'd be like, "This game is dog shit. Please don't forget that this game is awful. I I don't like it." Crazy dude. He just needs to go be happy and play Skullgirls full time. And that's and you know he really has been doing that over like the past year, to be honest. Yeah, it's just not where the money's at compared to. And there's no money, in the, but there's no money in the scene at all. Like, yeah. we're we're all scraping for pennies. I I'm wish not even I, doing that. I'm in it for fun. I wish there was a way I mean, to like get the scene to have more money. I wish there was just like a way to be like, like all these people and brands like look at us. We're we're dedicated. We're fun. We do all these things. Like, please just like give us a chance, right? Like. It's just, like, frustrating. Just because, like, you go to, like, any FPS streamer and they're like, yeah, there's a $300 million Warzone tournament going on right now. I got my controller up my ass. And, uh, yo, thanks for the 500 subs, bro. And just, like, FGC, biggest FGC streamer, Maximilian's like, yo, man, thank you for the resub. I really, really appreciate that. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. Or like someone our size were like, wow, I got a sub. Like, that's so crazy. Like, oh my God, thank you so much. Thank you. But like, you know, these fucking, all these FPS and mobile players are like, yo, um, I fucked your mom. Thank you for the five gifted. Appreciate that. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to win this $5 million tournament real quick. 
Like, ah, uh, it drives me. It drives me insane. And the esports side of me, it drives me insane. We need to find a way. Dude, we just need some non-endemic sponsors to just like we need to like grab them by like the back of the neck and be like, look at us, look at what we're doing, look at all the community, look at all the camaraderie. I agree. It's tough out here. It is tough out here, and I also think that a lot of the scene just doesn't know how to market itself. I think there's about, as far as events go, the there's two events in my head that market themselves fantastic, and that's CEO and Combo Breaker. They do a really good job at marketing themselves and getting people in the door and out. And then as far as personalities, there's about like five people who are really marketable. And there's like Maximilian. Mostly Sonic Fox. They they do a pretty good job a lot of the time. Uh Ketchup and Mustard are pretty good. They're, I can't them as they can't say jam, but I say jam like oh, up until recently has flown flown under the radar a lot for a lot of like bigger things. And then number five, there would definitely be Tasty Steve. Yeah, Tasty Steve just like he he just radiates like winter energy. You know what I mean? Yep. Like he, everything, he's like, yo, I got a sandwich here. Yo, somebody make some noise. <laughs> like everything about him is just like. I don't know. We just, we need all we need these people to stand in front of us as a shield and be like, come market through these people, and then pull, yeah. we need to, everyone else behind them to pull those uh, markets through. Hard agree. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, I don't think we have anything uh, left for this one. There's so much more to talk about with the Dragon Ball patch, but it's just like. It's literally too much. Like we could we could go over the notes and we'd be here for another three hours. It's overwhelming. It is. It is. It genuinely is. There's like so like even like I keep going back to the tweets of like seeing all the patches and I'm like, what did this character get and this and that and then you, then you play the character and you're like, oh, they have this now and then you're like trying to take all these mental notes and it you is know a what? Y'all do it for us in the comments below. Let us know what your favorite change in the Dragon Ball patch was. True. Show us some crazy tech. Share it. We'll comment back. We're not busy. So you just let us know. (laughs) Let us know, guys. And if you made it this far, make sure you've dropped a like on the video. Um, As of recording this, we are working on getting our first episode back onto Spotify and potentially Apple Podcasts. I've figured out all that stuff now. So, uh, you know, look for that coming out soon. Uh, I'll put the link in the description when it does come out. Other than that, you know, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to Depinto. Check us out on Twitter. All that good stuff. We will see you guys on the next episode of the O2ers. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you later. Until next time. Peace.